Let's take you to the county of Kisumu, to Maseno University, where Oko Kusa is standing by. Robert Godek, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya, is still in that region and is expected to be speaking at the Maseno University. Oko Kusa now joins us. Now, Oko, yesterday we had a lot of, uh, a lot of things from Godek, and uh, he talked about corruption. He also spoke about what's happening in the health ministry and clarified, and uh, today we expect him to speak some more. What are we uh, looking forward? to from uh, the ambassador uh, today it is expected that uh, the ambassador will be engaging the youth most most of the students here at Maseno University regarding the forthcoming general elections remember the, the ambassador has been uh, preaching uh, peace free fair and credible elections and uh, that was his message yesterday in all the meetings that he has attended yesterday in Kisumu. Remember in the morning he was uh, addressing a workshop uh, for journalists who work for vernacular radio stations where his message to the media was that they should embrace uh, partisan reporting as far as these elections are going to be concerned. And again, in the, later in the evening, he attended a sports match between the Kenya police and members of the community, which was supposed to be preaching peace as we head to the elections. And uh, the same message about uh, free, fair, credible, and peaceful elections emerged in that uh, event. So here in Maseno, uh, the ambassador is, will be engaging the youth, and uh, the message will be bringing here, as we have gathered, partly is the role of the youth coming election and also how Kenyans can participate. All Kenyan citizens, actually what we were saying yesterday is that it is the respons not only the responsibility of the IEBC to ensure a free and peaceful election, but also the entire Kenyan citizenship uh, that all of us have a role to play uh, in uh, ensuring that uh, the forthcoming elections are free and fair. Okay. Oko, and uh, one, one more question for you. Uh, how was uh, the sentiment of uh, Godek received in that region? Is it timely? Was it viewed as political? Yes, to some extent it was viewed as political uh, because even where we were at the football match, the crowd actually applauded him for raising issues uh, that have to do with the free and fair elections and also his uh, remarks on IEBC which uh, he said that as much as uh, he has faith that uh, they will conduct a, a, a credible uh, exercise but still cautioned that uh, the electoral body must ensure that they keep Kenyans informed in case they are meeting any hiccups of, uh, of any form in uh, preparing for the coming election. So that received actually a lot of endorsement from the uh, residents who were at that meeting. And uh, therefore, uh, generally, the, the ambassador's tour here is more of uh, politics because his uh, message is uh, tailored towards the coming elections, which uh, he also said that uh, the American government is uh, not supporting any of the candidates or the parties involved in the, in the contest. And that uh, America will be playing a very neutral uh, role in this process. So basically, uh, that is it. And that is how the message was received here. And we hope that uh, we're going to have a successful uh, uh, discussion with the students here later on this afternoon, Ken. Right. And uh, finally, have you spoken to the students uh, on their expectation from this meeting and uh, probably their role uh, come the election and as we head into uh, the election, especially in keeping peace? Have you spoken to some of them and uh, got their views? Again, looking at the region where he's making the statement, which is uh, very populist at this time. Uh, we have just arrived here and uh, of course as you understand some of the uh, students, most of the students are still attending lessons because this uh, event is supposed to kick off at 2 p.m. So we are yet to catch, uh, to catch any of the students to, to give us uh, their feelings about this, uh, I mean, this meeting that is supposed to happen today here. But uh, uh, as I've, I've already mentioned there before is that uh, the American ambassador's uh, message in this region is definitely uh, welcome because he, he, he spoke about uh, 
what uh, a lot of people here will want to hear, and that is free and fair elections. Remember, this region has always claimed that their uh, votes have uh, been stolen in the past uh, general elections, and they have been advocating seriously for a free and fair process. Therefore, that message by them resonates well with the community here because they feel that it is only through a free and fair process that uh, they uh, can be able to get uh, some of their leaders they desire to get into the to, I mean, higher positions of leadership in this country. Ken. Thank you very much, Oko Kusa. Looking forward uh, to that discussion. Uh, Robert Godek will be meeting students uh, from, uh, will be speaking to the students of uh, the university, of Maseno University, where he will be speaking about peace and uh, the role of the youth going into the election.